Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we spent most of the episode crafting, and I should admit to something. We are almost out of medicinal herbs, because last night, I decided to raise up my communication skill and my pharmacy skill at the same time. I just kept making, you know, more and more of the uh, potions while using my communication skill to lower my RP. Rinse, well, my HP at that point. Rinse, repeat. Um, I figured it, would, it was a worthwhile adventure because, honestly, it just is free experience. I can go and get more medicinal herbs super easy. And it'll let me... Oh. Actually, I didn't realize that was today. Let's do it. Hopefully, their affection will go up even faster now. Okay. So currently we're at one friendship with all of our monsters, which is good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we start out by filling it up with water. This will be the first day we actually get to try this out. So I can use this, I believe, six times? So watering gets a lot faster now. I can easily get my fields taken care of, which leaves me more time in the day for everything else. I'll see what needs to be done with these ones later. And while we're here in this cave, I actually want to remedy something. Last episode, I was under the assumption I only needed two Devil Horns. I actually need three because there's also the birthday one for Xavier, which I mentioned earlier in last episode, but... One thing I should note is that last episode was a three-hour recording, so I kind of forgot some of the things I said at the beginning of the episode. Whoops. There we go. The third Devil Horn we needed. And... I see it's kind of worth actually picking these right now. I actually want to come up here and fight some of these slimes real quick. Oh, uh, water crystal, that's actually appreciated, I need those. So the new Nintendo Direct came out on Wednesday, and I am super hyped for so many of the games announced and just talked about. You know, I'm a huge fan of Undertale, so I'm really happy that Sans gets some representation in there. You know, I'm not really, like, oh hey, yeah, I want him in Smash, because I believe he'd be either overpowered or really underpowered, depending on how you look at him, what abilities he gets. But him as a gunner, I think, works. <laughs> Besides that, I'm super hyped for so many of the games, including Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Like, I'm just, oh my yes. I love Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, and I really want to actually play through the entirety of the first game. I've seen it played through, mind you, but I've never got the chance to actually get through it all. My Wii just wasn't working correctly at the time, and now I can finally play it. This will be amazing. Alright, I guess that's it for now. I wasn't able to get a little crystal which I need, but in the future. Good evening. Oh, they're actually doing really good out here today. So if I come up here... Hello, Ivan. Hey, Raguna! Recommend this today. Um... I mean, we actually don't have these things, sure. so sure. Okay, so we have all the makers now in our house, so that's pretty awesome. Hello. I'm grateful that Nicholas plays the Cecilia, but I can't approve of the pranks he pulls. Mr. Guna, Hello. what are you praying about? Thank you very much. Thank. Thank you. Hey, Raguna, I wonder what kind of places lie beyond this ocean. Hello. Have you ever heard of a lapis lazuli? It's the most beautiful blue gem ever. How I've always dreamed someone would give me one of those when he proposed to me. Hint. Hint. Thanks. Sabrina's doing really well. I'm pleased Nicholas is also well. He sometimes plays too, much, too many pranks, though. I wonder where this big shell came from. How's it going, Raguna? What's your poison? Hey, wait a minute. You're not old enough to drink yet. Well, they're actually doing a pretty good job watering these days. 
So real quick, we're actually going to come up here and I'm going to attempt to make a few accessories that I have the ability to, so give me just a moment. There we go, a water ring. And that's all I can attempt for now. So let's head out to the bath. What? Attempt this once again. There we go, the ruby ring. Decoration level increased. That puts us at 43 decoration. I think that means we have a 30% chance of doing this next one. The ruby brooch. Decoration level increased. 44 decoration. The ruby brooch and the ruby ring. I just realized I never actually looked at the description of those, so I'll put them on screen or something. Here we go. A ring enchanted with the power of water increases water abilities. So as you may guess, you know, plus 12 to both water attack and water defense. A nice little ring that I don't think I'll be using. If I need another one once again, I can make one. It's not hard to do. But now I have those ones sold, so let's get moving. Is that a coincidence, or do I always just get gemstones? I always get gemstones. Alright, um, let's do one lower power. That's still just gemstones. Yeah, okay. Um... There's some gold, that's what I need. Okay, so upgrading my hammer may have been a mistake. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting what I want now. There we go, okay, so I can get gold with this upgraded hit. Cool. Maybe the other patch of rocks actually just has a higher chance of getting me gems, or maybe I was just getting weird luck. Who knows? Oh, I'm actually getting different levels of Amethyst now. That's good as far as money goes, but for storing these, that isn't fantastic. I think I'm going to sell the two that I don't want. Because while money is important, I don't need higher level gems, like at all. It doesn't affect crafting. Okay. Hero Certificate. Combination success. Alright. Now the Hero Certificate. Level 1. Strength plus 15, Intelligence minus 10, Vitality plus 5, Power Guard 60%, Topple Guard 60%. Only one who acquires unsurpassed power can possess the certificate. So, yeah, it's kind of good. Um, you can't use strong magic, but... I don't necessarily care about strong magic in this game, so it may be worth wearing. Um, I'll give it a shot. See how I feel about it instead of the fire ring, and should I want to sell the fire ring and just keep this, I can. So if we take an earth crystal and a silver ring, we get an earth ring. Decoration level increased. Okay. The earth ring. A ring enchanted with the power of earth increases earth abilities. So, you know, all the normal things, just for Earth. Alright, so one silver, one ruby together makes a silver hairpin. Decoration level increased. So that puts us up to level 46. What else can we make now? Okay, so that's all we can make for the moment, for decorations at least. So if we take off our iron shield... And we use our iron shield with two iron, we get the round shield. This is the one that Leo will actually sell to us at this point in the game, but I said we didn't want to buy it because we didn't really need it. And this is why. We can easily make it ourselves. If we put our round shield in, along with two silver and an iron, we get the heavy shield. So, the heavy shield. 
This large and sturdy shield blocks attacks, but the weight slows you down. Strength minus 6, power guard and topple guard plus 45%. And 16 defense. So while well, yes, it's like, oh hey, lowers my strength, but we're getting plus 15 strength right here, so I'm not really sure it's necessary. This just makes us un you know, toppable and unable to be hit with power attacks, so this is great. This, actually, we were already pretty much at that point. <laughs> the reason I made this one, because there's two ways you can go from there, from the round shield. We also could have gone to the platinum shield, which, well, yes, it's a pretty decent shield. We don't have platinum, and we won't have platinum until winter. And from the platinum shield, you go to the night shield, which is, well, yes, a good shield. It's not the one I want to go for. I'm going to be going towards the rune shield, which... If we had the materials for it, we could actually make right now, but once again, platinum. It kind of kicks me when I'm down. So, when winter comes, I'll make a night shield, and then I'll put together a rune shield, and we'll have the best shield in the game. A traditional hairpin. Some people believe hairpins drive off evil spirits. Poison guard plus 20%, and defense 6. So... I will be selling the silver hairpin the earth ring, the fire ring, and all of my gold that isn't the level 1 piece that I have sitting in my house. It'll get us some good money and more importantly fill out my shipping list a little bit more. So let's go visit some people who should be home now. Someday my prince will ride through here on his white horse and save me from a miserable life in this wretched town. We're gonna give her one of these sashimis because I have extras. I'm not boasting, but I have everything I want. You better think of something better. Good yeah, nothing more to eat today, but what should I have tomorrow? Are you sure there's nothing more to eat today? Pickles? Wow. Good evening. How's the farm going? So I just realized a beautiful thing. I can break these rocks now. I think it takes two hits, but it's still fine. Yep. Finally, after a million years. There are actually a lot of these rocks on here. I didn't realize that. I may start my day tomorrow finishing these. And now to grind. If I want to beat that milk contest on the 18th, I really need to do this. <sighs> Alright, so I wasted all my energy for the rest of the day. As you may have noticed, I'm now up to level 22 communication. I used up every bit of energy I could from all the different runes, and now I'm here. <laughs> so let's start off our day with what I said, aka the gold hammer. I'm just gonna go around the farm, busting these all open, using up some of my energy, etc, etc. You know what's up. So, I'm just kind of wasting time right now until about 9am. Once 9am rolls around, I'm actually going to go pick up some things from the general store, and then I'll be able to do a little bit more crafting. I can pick up, I think, an amulet or two, and make some new items. There's actually new stuff up here to pick. Which I don't think I'll be doing immediately, but, you know, more energy nonetheless. There we go. Okay, so we're going to need charms, pendants, and earrings, I think? No, earrings, I think, are something else. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> what do I need? So I'm gonna need one of each of these at the very least. Okay. So first things first. Pendant, level one. Defense two, a silver pendant. Simple, but charming. We are going to sell this for the shipping list. We are going to sell a charm for the shipping list, and an earring. We have to buy those, they're not craftable in this game. In future games they are, but, 
you know, and differences in different games. Okay, a pendant and a piece of silver. Oh, that's a little 80 recipe. I didn't realize that's dumb. That's not even that good of an item. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that for a little while. Um... So a pendant and an arrow element makes the gale pendant. The gale pendant. Defense 4, level 1, dexterity plus 5. This pendant has a gale motif, increases resistance to wind. What? Oh, stop. Stop. God, I hate Siri. Across the room she heard me say that. <laughs> So it gives us plus 12 to defense against wind. Um, this is just another alternative to the wind ring. Or maybe you can combine it with the wind ring if you just want some more wind defense. You don't care about the wind attack. So, you know, decide what you want. And we sell this. Alright, another thing done on the shipping list. Alright, like we did for a bit of yesterday, we're going to be trying to get little crystals. Cross your fingers that we can actually manage it. Oh. We got clay. One of their drops. I think that's the rare drop, actually. I'm not sure what it's used for, actually, so I'm gonna look that up. Oh! And we got a little crystal. Nice! One after another. Okay, all at once, we got exactly what we needed. Nice. I'm gonna need a lot of little crystals, I think? And it's just deciding to give them to me, I guess. Wow! Oh my gosh, this is kind of stupid ridiculous. I love it. We need a grand total of 13 little crystals for everything we want to make. So we're going to have to fight a lot of these throughout the game. We do not actually need any clays, so, you know, clay, fun to squeeze, tear, to, tear and mold, perfect for children to play with. This will actually be a just shipping item and that's about it. Meanwhile, the little crystal. Runes crystallized over many years. Very rare and valuable. It's only worth 16, it said. Skill up. Little crystal found. Perfect. So we have a grand total of 6 out of 13 thus far. I doubt we need them all right now, but I might as well get as many as I can while I'm doing it. We still need the strong string, so I may want to switch gears soon, though. One, two, three, four. We seriously got our third pretty string, the first enemy killed, and got poisoned, which is stupid. <laughs> so this is the situation where it'd be smart to have a poison ring on. You know, stop having to use those status removal things. Oh. More pretty string. I didn't need that one, <laughs> so that was a waste. Maybe I can find some use for it some way. Maybe it's using a weapon that might look cool. I don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so stupid! Why can't I get strong string? <laughs> Pretty string is the rare drop! This is... This is idiotic! This is ludicrous! 
Give me strong string and a skill up, apparently. That sucks. Ah, uh, yes, very unfortunate. What? Okay. What are my crops? Today has been a dumb day. I I was afraid that I wasn't going to get any little crystals at first. Then I got a huge amount of them. Then I got three pretty string, but no strong string. Things are dumb. My luck is dumb. This isn't how the game is supposed to work. And they can almost do all of these top way layer whatever I'm trying to say crops these top level crops since it's night we're gonna head all the way up here and we're gonna take advantage of the fact that it's night by coming upstairs in Mayor Godwin's house Good evening. I'm worried about the man who marries my felicity I'd like him to be somebody who heeds my wishes well that saying that my role as mayor is not hereditary. You have to be loved by everyone. Now if we talk to Felicity... What? You're asking me if I got a stone from Cecilia? Well, I did about a year ago. You remember how I mentioned that, uh... It was very interesting that Cecilia may have given a cursed stone to Felicity. Or at least that's why she was spooked and got rid of all of her stones. Maybe the stone is the cause of your poor health. Could it be a cursed stone? Really? Hold on a moment. This is the stone. May I take it? If I show it to Dr. Edward, he might be able to tell us something. Sure, here you are. You got a round pebble. So, the round pebble. Round rock. This just looks like an ordinary pebble. It's a curio, level one. We don't have to ship it because it's not worth anything, so it wouldn't show up on the list anyway, but mark down that I have gotten it at this point. So, if we head up here and talk to Dr. Edward. Edward! Oh, hey, Camus. Good evening. When I go, I certainly won't miss this town, although I'll miss seeing Melody. Ooh, lovey dovey. Good evening. My only son, Camus, doesn't want much like me. He seems upset about my choice to live in the country. He's always talking about how he's going to go to a city, but he doesn't seem to understand. So this round pebble. There we go. This stone, it carries a very evil aura. I thought so. Where did you get it? Cecilia gave it to Flisty a long time ago. What's this? Felicity's poor health wasn't because of sickness after all. That's why none of my medicine worked on her. So does this mean Felicity will get better now? Yes, without a doubt. Great! I'll dispose of the stone properly. Thank you, Raguna. You've done a great service. So with this, Felicity should start feeling better. She'll have different dialogue, she'll warm up to you even more, and she'll be able to take part in festivals? Quote-unquote? Uh, not really. Um... I say that, but really, she doesn't do much. <laughs> like, she was talking before that she wanted to go swimming. And, well, yes, in theory, in-game, she should be able to swim now. No one swims in this game. This is Rune Factory 1. We don't do swimming here. Alright, guys. Next time, let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy Harris Moon. Between episodes, I'm once again going to grind up my communication. Then I'm going to go pet my animals. Make sure I've watered the last of my crops for the day. And just call it quits. Thanks for coming out and seeing my stupid luck in this stupidly ridiculous, ludicrous day. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.